Michelle Montana. I'm an interior designer aspiring to be full-time while I work in TV and film and this is my interior design enthusiastic space. Um, Lucy, come here. Today I wanted to talk about ambient lighting and I think it's something that I have mastered in my own home and wanted to share just how to make a really cozy space. We are getting into colder months and so nesting is so important. And uh, we're currently sitting in my living room, which is probably my favorite room to spend time in, especially when people come over, but also just uh, generally to spend my evenings. I think because in this room in particular, the lighting is just so cozy and I just want to share, I guess, how I've achieved this. If that's interesting to you, stick around and watch it. It's pretty simple, actually. The, the main thing to focus on when you're building ambient lighting in any space is really balancing warm light throughout the room. So I have strategically placed lamps because overhead lighting just really doesn't cut it when it comes to warm cozy light in your space um, I will show you what it looks like in here if the overhead light is on it's not attractive it's just not attractive it's fine but if I want to spend time in this space by myself or with others, something about overhead lighting is just not pleasing. <laughs> it's harsher and it's a lot harder to um, get it to a place that is renter friendly as well as um, just warm and inviting. When you're living, oops, I'm going to turn the light back off now. <laughs> Living in a rental space, obviously you can't always modify too many things and something that I think gets recommended a lot on YouTube is putting in dimmers and as much as I would love to put in dimmers, I um, am not an electrician and that's something that I feel is a little bit more daunting of a task than just changing uh, an entire uh, light fixture, which I have done in this house but um, to me I think that's a little bit easier and less permanent because before I move out I'll just switch the lights back. So I just focused on building the light in here with external lighting sources that aren't the overhead light. Here are my few lamps that I have collected in this space and so I have one obviously right behind me, the little lamp on the piano and the small lamp that's just on the other side of the room that just kind of balances the light altogether. That lamp on the light is actually a dimmable piece so you can turn it down if it's a little bit too aggressive which I like to do as well. This light in particular I placed a vintage bulb in. Vintage bulbs are the warmest light in my opinion it's an easy way to just swap out the lighting if you go to a hardware store like Lowe's or maybe Home Depot too um, I know for sure at Lowe's they have the light bulbs set up so that you can see what they look look like when they're turned on so they'll have like three or four different vintage light bulbs on in like a case so that you can pick the right bulb that works for you but um, and you can see the light that they give off and they're so much warmer. Batty, can you please not? If you hear Batty, it's because she's climbing. She's climbing things. Um, so that's my first tip is swapping all of your light bulbs for vintage light bulbs. Obviously with an overhead light, I don't always recommend that because there are times in the evening when you actually need to have the overhead light because you're looking for something or I don't know, you're need to be able to see what you're doing. And in this light, you can't always see every single detail, which obviously has a lot of benefits when you can't see as much. 
because you can hide your flaws maybe or um, you can hide the fact that you haven't vacuumed in a minute just by having moodier lighting in your space. Um, I always recommend candles. They're super cheap and easy to just have on all the time. They don't have to be fragrance if that's something that bothers you. Um, I always have tapers lit in, in here and in my kitchen around dinner time. It just adds something a little bit a more spark, I guess, of romance in a space. Uh, when you're entertaining or even just home alone, it's really nice to just have that flame if you can light candles in whatever space that you're in. So that's something that I'm always, I, I always have a back stock of taper candles, always, always, always. Every time I go to a thrift store, I will search and make sure that if there's any tapers there that I can buy, I'll, I'll grab them. They also, um, if you don't feel like digging around in thrift stores, Ikea has them super cheap. I think they're literally $2. I could be making that up, but I'm pretty sure the Ikea ones are super, super affordable. But yeah, having like different levels too of candles I, I think is really nice. You know, oftentimes when you buy a taper, like a candlestick holder, they'll come with two sizes or if there's three, they're like, they're three different sizes and that always looks nice. So on my coffee table, I have these three. The lower one is nice for just that kind of balance. So having a selection of lamps strategically placed around the room and a few candles is such an easy way to have nice, warm, cozy lighting, inviting light, inviting lighting, inviting lighting um, <laughs> in your space. These two lamps, the one on my piano and the one behind me, I'm pretty sure they were both from Facebook Marketplace. And I think even the one on my piano, I'm pretty sure it was free on Facebook. I just had to go pick it up. In my kitchen in particular, when Elliot and I, my husband and I are eating dinner, it's just nice to kind of like turn the lights down low and just, you know, set more of a mood. For whatever reason, even when I go to my in-laws house, I always get out all the candles for their table, light all their candles and turn the lights down. Because for whatever reason, it's just like conversation flows better everything seems less intense it's just less of a harsh atmosphere to be in and everyone just enjoys being in it just a more warm and inviting space of course so it's kind of one of my top priorities in my life to always make sure that the lighting around me is good especially too when it's dim like you feel good about yourself you know maybe you just were too tired to put on makeup or or you had a rough week and you're looking kind of rough, um, <laughs> having the dim lighting, everyone looks amazing. So um, it just makes you feel good, more confident. Definitely a confidence boost. There's one thing in the kitchen that I wish that I had and it's just a matter of finding the right size. Um, I don't have a small lamp for one of my counter spaces. That has been, I also have really tiny counters, so it makes it a little bit difficult. What has helped significantly is I installed a plug-in sconce that sits in, in the kitchen as well. I created like a little vignette on the one wall that houses some wine bottles and has the sconce and a cute picture. Yeah, so that has been uh, a really nice addition to the kitchen. Um, I did put in a vintage light bulb in the sconce and uh, it's just nice to be able to turn all the lights off in the kitchen and have a cozier space when you're cooking dinner or serving dinner to your friends or just to your husband or to yourself. Uh, romance yourself. Normalize romancing yourself. I did that for months before I met my husband and I think that's how I accidentally manifested him. Anyways, moving on. Upstairs in our studio space, we have a couple of lamps in there, one of which is an overhanging lamp. It used to be in this room, actually, but then when I um, switched out some of the lighting things in here during my living room makeover, that was um, something that I moved upstairs, and we love having it on. It's the perfect amount of light when you're watching a movie. You can turn all the lights down, 
and just have um, that small, it's from Ikea, I'll link it below. Um, so it's just like a nice warm globe, I guess, in the corner. And it doesn't emit a ton of light, so it's nice to just have just that small amount of light when you're watching a movie, especially if, if it's a scary movie, maybe you wanna have one little light on. Um, and recently, the tall lamp that's in the corner now, um, that was moved out of our bedroom because that's a, spoiler alert, um, a room that I'm working on transforming for just, you know, it was about damn time for us to transform our, our bedroom space, potentially the most important room in your home. So that recently got moved out there and it's nice to have like the two options, just something very, both are just very subtle for ambiance really. They don't serve any other purpose because they, I mean, the one, the tall lamp does provide enough light for just being in there, but any lamp isn't gonna provide like significant amount of light to like take the place of, of some overhead lighting. And of course, candles are going in every single room, so they're obviously going in, in our studio space as well. So I'd say for creating, you know, more of an ambiance in any room, having at least two lamps is ideal. One absolutely is, works if you're especially in a smaller space. Uh, and then in the kitchen, I only have the one because I can't find the right size for my counter really. So um, ideally I would have two in there. I think that would be perfect for when we're eating dinner just so we can see a little bit more. But we basically eat in the dark. <laughs> yeah, and then upstairs in the studio too, what's nice is we do have a fireplace in there and that does provide a little bit of light but really more ambiance than anything else. So, but in the studio there's the two lamps. It worked really nicely, honestly, with just the pink lamp, and then we just recently put in the tall lamp, but um, having the two is really nice for, for mood lighting. But that is it. So I really recommend balancing, having a nice balance of lamps in your space, vintage lighting, vintage light bulbs, and really candles galore. Candles are, are pretty important maybe the most important when building ambiance, either for just yourself or for your guests. So that really concludes today's video. Uh, short and sweet, but I hope it was helpful to you. They're easy solutions. Everything was really inexpensive too. Even the Ikea lamp was really, I think maybe $20. So I will link as much as I can in the description box. And again, I hope this was enjoyable for you. That's it. I hope you're having a really amazing week and uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Sunday. What do you say, Goose? Do you want to say goodbye? Okay, love you, bye. <laughs> love you, bye.